crew resource management. This is actually going to be a fairly short video about kind of a large topic. We're going to go over some of the actual terminology used and kind of give you some food for thought, things to think about as we're going through these other subjects under aeronautical decision making. But crew resource management is a big part of it, either a single or multiple people in a crew. So CRM crew resource management, while CRM focuses on pilots operating in crew environments, Many of the concepts apply to single pilot operations. Many CRM principles have been successfully applied to single pilot aircraft and led to the development of single pilot resource management, known as SRM. SRM is defined as the art and science of managing all the resources available to a single pilot prior to and during a flight to ensure the successful outcome of the flight. SRM includes the concepts of ADM, Risk Management, RM, which we've talked about, Task Management, TM, Automation Management, AM, Controlled Flight into Terrain, CFIT, Awareness, and Situational Awareness, called SA. SRM, Single Resource Management Training, helps the pilot maintain situational awareness by managing the automation in associated aircraft control and navigation tasks. This enables the pilot to accurately access and manage risk and make accurate and timely decisions. SRM is all about helping pilots learn how to gather information, analyze it, and make decisions. So there is a lot to think about here, whether you're operating by yourself, where you're taking control of the, of the uh, particular flight for that day, or whether you have people helping you. So, you know, relating a little bit to as far as the piloting as a normal pilot, there's a lot of things going on and it's gonna be the same way with the remote pilot. You're gonna be operating the small unmanned aircraft yourself, monitoring the controls, keeping track of where it is, watching for your obstacles, staying clear of different hazards. So there's a lot of things involved and you know, you kind of take in the totality of the circumstance or the big picture. You know, it's having everything you need, having your property battery, your proper batteries or spare batteries if you need. All the things that you need to make that flight and make that flight successful. And then also when you're working with others on your particular flight, if you have crew members there helping you, it's about making sure that everybody knows exactly what they're doing and you've got your method of operation for that proposed flight and you're taking in all the circumstances pertinent to that flight, weather, again, hazards, rules, regulations, it's putting it all in a nutshell. So put your comments down below and continue to the next video.